Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad. Welcome back to Splatoon 3. It's a little bit ominous here. Listen up, it's going down. Probably don't need to read all this, but it's fine. It sounds really cool with the music. There's a big run going on right now, so you might want to avoid Inkblotic Art Academy. Yes, yeah, school's in session, but not in the way you think. Well, Grisco is hiring if you want to help clean up the salmon salmonid mess. I could use a job. Not, no mention of pay, but seeing you say something about a thank you gift. Who is the boss and get a? F Show this someone else who's boss and get a free gift. Sign me up. And if you want to help save the city, right? Good for you. So yeah, there's a big run happening at the moment, which is very cool and very different. This is the first one I've been able to actually get to, although I wasn't actually able to record this live. This is post-commentary. Our favorite time of the year or something, I don't know. But yes, we're gonna do a bit of that. Let's see how we go. It's it's very interesting. I like the, the whole concept of it, really. So... And I'll explain more of it once we get into it, so... Also, it's very ominous here. Welcome to Chris Rowe Industries, and congrats on making a, a the kind of sound business. I can't read up, keep up with this. How about the big, uh, big run? Short stuff at the moment. You are at the big run phenomenon, yes? Where salmonids stray far from their turf and they invade the city. It is business critical that uh, prevent the salmonids from damaging the city. Stopping them is a task, but Grisco employees are willing to do. Primary objective of stopping the salmonids is happens to do, <laughs> yeah. It's very close to the original business pl plan is collecting more golden eggs. So it's all about synergy. Now we at Grisco recognize the task associated with this challenge, challenging task. That's why we're increasing our payout for all the survive. Um, I mean, top producers. We've even prepared a special declaration for everyone, regardless of job performance. This has been product. Productive. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna help out and get good stuff. Also, look at the title. There's a new title apparently. I think it's possibly if you reach past level th three pro pro fre professional. I think, or maybe it's just during the big run. But I don't know. Also, I think I got another win with the b big boss again. But anyway. Inkblot Art Academy, one of the regular multiplayer levels, usually for Turf Wars and stuff. But it's been uh, a little bit, it's a little bit different because there's the, the green goop, the waters are all messy, polluted. And of course there are different water levels as well, or pollution levels, so. Right now it's at mid-tide, which means that the lower, the side paths actually are, uh, aren't available, so. But yeah, we have to survive as long as possible, collect golden eggs, it's pretty normal. And you can see that the basket also moves. There's one down in the middle of the level, but there's also one up on the upper area here. Uh, but there's also one further up at the spawn for when it's high tide, so. Got a lot of bosses in this. There's like a lot of bosses in the big run. So you have to really keep on top of that as much as possible and you have to really work together to survive because otherwise you're just going to get overwhelmed so fast. I mean you probably want to take out the bosses anyway in a regular run. But yeah, there's a lot in this. You can also see that there's a new spawn point for the enemies on the other side of the area where the, the gusher is basically. So you have to keep that in mind. Also, the thing about the the guys that nope, dying. The, the the guys that are in like their flying ships is you want to try and have them fall down on top of other bosses because they'll actually take out anything instantly if they do that. So if you can get the bosses to drop onto each other, that's good. Trying to stay alive. 
It's a bit difficult because everyone's a bit spread out. We might be able to get through this. Eight seconds left. Just trying to survive at this point. We don't need to worry about the boss too much if we can just survive, maybe, hopefully. Trying to crush some of them with the other boss, but anyway. That's the first wave. <laughs> There's still more to go. If we're getting dropped up here, that means we're either mid-tide or low-tide, which is good to know. I don't think there's any of the special low tide events that happen during the big run. It's just plain salmon run, basically. Although you can still get some of the the dark, like darkness of like I can't think of what the real ones are. Like when there's fog or when there's when it's dark out, then you can still get those events. So you have to be careful with those. And you know, we'll be going through a few of those in this as well. I recorded a, a few episodes of this, which is good. I was busy at the time, but I managed to get this all done. <laughs> I managed to record it without any of the background noises, which is also pretty impressive. I mean, I think, to, to me it's impressive, because I <laughs> have, to, have, to, have to set things around a bit. Anyway, we have a boss on top of us, let's try and take that out. Uh oh, I think our teammate? No, they're fine. Just there's a lot of bosses right now. We're focusing a little bit on collecting the the golden eggs a little bit too much, possibly. Sometimes it's good to grab them and just deposit them, but you also need to keep in mind that the bosses are going to keep spawning, so... Oh boy. It's hard to get revived when I'm inside of the enemy shield thing. Oh, I'm going to get exploded. Yep, there we go. One player left. We need five more golden eggs. If you're dead, it's pretty good to grab a golden egg if you can. Although the the enemies also like to grab them anyway. Oh my goodness. Um, we're dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. We don't have enough golden eggs. But maybe two more. Okay, we made it somehow. Somehow still alive. Oh my goodness. There's a lot. Also the the ones with the the stingray are really annoying because you have to go over over there to get them also the weapons for this big run were quite interesting because the brellas were quite good at covering everything in existence i didn't realize that at first but i will it just fires constantly and has lots of small shots but they spread out a lot and it's pr it's pretty effective so it's not great for up close combat but it is good if you can still hit them so like, not, not too close combat, that is. Just just like every other weapon, probably, so, so it's fine. Oh boy, getting chased around. Just needed to survive. There's also some uh, higher platforms, like, on the areas there. Near, near the spawn, basically. Uh, basically, you can't get hit there for the most part, although there are a few things that can still get you. And they can somewhat climb if they're really trying. Oh boy, there's a... There's waves of stuff, that means there's a boss out there. Spawning them in. Also, I think it can't stay on top of this thing too long, because the, the guy in the middle whacks you off, so... I didn't realize that was a thing for quite a while, and I, I really should have no noticed that. It's just a small detail that you're trying, you wouldn't really be paying attention to. But yes, oh boy, we're dead. <laughs> if you get pressed against a wall, you're basically just dead. There's so much happening right now, we're using a special to survive. This is wave three, so if there's any time to use our specials, now's the time. Come on, come on, come on, don't die. We need six more, and we need to revive a little bit more. Five. Four. Three, two, one. There we go, good. We, we have enough. We just need to survive. There's also uh, some walls on either side of the middle. That you want to paint because they're very important to be able to just climb up to get to a better position. Because the opponents can't climb, so. But there we go, that's our first big run. Of course, there's, there's more. 79 golden eggs for a start, that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Although, the, the game wants you to reach over 150 to get the best reward. I don't know how you're supposed to do that unless you play Salmon Run. All the time. Nothing else in your life. You basically have to not have a life to get the the best reward for a big run. But you know, I don't care, so I'm just gonna I'm I'm a filthy casual.
But getting around 100 is probably what I want to get, so... Here we go again. There's also a new boss for the salmon run, in the big run. So hopefully, if we can get the, the meter up, we can do that. Also, why, why am I going down? Why am I going down? It's high tide. If you spawn up in the spawn, where the spawn wreck usually is, it means it's high tide. And obviously, none of us knew that at the time, apparently, because we all went down. So yeah, we, we all started off down, which is fine. But yeah, you basically want to have as much of the spawn covered in high tide, so... Just like the, that, that surrounding area, so you can move around and further back if you need to. It's a pretty good, safe, um... Like, out of, in this level, out of all of the, the levels that we've played in Sound Run, we have high tide. So it's probably one of the best, because you have a fair bit of space to work with. And only two sides that you really need to worry about, because it's a multiplayer stage. They, they work pretty well with directions and sections of the map and stuff. Oh boy, I need to revive that one down there. And that big boss shooting out explosions is quite annoying. There's so much stuff. Oh, and there's a tower over there we need to get rid of. I wish I actually remembered the names of the bosses. For some reason I don't. Even though it shows on screen what killed you. When you die, I should really be memorizing these names. It's fine, just need to take out the regular enemies, because the regular ones, they can really overpower you if you don't take them out enough. The hordes, the, you need to just really take out the hordes, because they just get, they stack up. Also, whenever the, the, um, the ones carrying golden eggs away are flying close towards, like, towards your base, where the the collection thing is, you really want to get take advantage of that, because sometimes it's best to have them stay alive so that they can bring them close to you, but not always, because they sometimes they just take it away from your base, so... But yeah, have, um, this bow here, let me see if I can use it well. I'm not really great with it, especially not at this point in time, but full charges are the way to go, basically, if you can actually do that. If you want to just cover ground though, it's good to just shoot randomly and wildly. I missed. I'm really not great with the bow. I'm gonna use my special. Hopefully not gonna die though, because I'm gonna fall onto the enemy. Got spotted by a regular chum. That's funny. <laughs> that's, that's funny calling out a regular chum. Anyway, there's a lot of bosses spawning in, as we can hear. Oh boy, I'm getting pushed back. Bow is pretty pretty good for taking out the tower because if you just shoot regular shots and spam it, you can get all those. Whoop, that person moved suddenly. That's interesting. Scrapper got me though. Where's everyone? I'm pretty spread out right now by the looks of it. Some people down further out. We need to really take out some of these bosses. Why wow, we're, we're struggling so much. It's almost worth using a special. There's so many storm clouds. Also, I learned that the storm clouds don't activate immediately. There's actually a like an orb, a floating orb that they shoot out, that then becomes the storm that you can actually shoot down before it activates. So, it's just very unlikely that you're going to get that. We're not going to make it through this round. I don't think we need. So many more gold makes. There's so many by the cannons, but they just died. So yeah, th that's a wrap. Well, that's a shame. It's also hard sometimes when you're trying to get as many gold makes as possible because sometimes you prioritize that over surviving, and it doesn't really work out for you. Like you get to the end of the the requirement, but you keep going above because you want to get as many as possible. And sometimes that just doesn't work out. Sometimes once you reach what you need, you just need to just hold back. Uh, but anyway, let's see if we can survive this. We have a pretty good weapon for this. Just for shooting down enemies. The regular chums. We must really keep on top of where they're spawning from. 
of the ground. That was pretty good, pretty quick. If you can get those out of the way pretty, pretty good, it's just great in general. Uh, but there's some enemies that you want to probably take out closer to your base. The ones that put a circle on the ground, you can, if you can get them closer to your base, that's better for you because you can get the eggs back faster. And it means you can focus on other bosses at, at the same t in the meantime. There's also the ones that you have to throw a, a splat bomb into their mouth. Like where they're about to pop out of the ground. Uh, those ones, you, if you can get them as close to the basket as possible, is brilliant. And yeah, other stuff like that. Basically. Uh, but for the most part, you want to be taking out bosses as much as possible. Uh, the ones that uh, have the stingers, you really need to take out immediately, basically. It's a bit hard to do that, though, because... If you want to try and do it on your own, it's... It's a high chance of you dying, because nobody else is probably going to go with you. Even though you really need that to be the case. So, yeah, it's it's very easy to not be able to get those when you need to get those. If you can try and work together, that's good, though. The ones with the tentacle missiles are just plain or annoying, because you have to throw two splat bombs into either side, which means you basically have to team up with somebody or take an extra round to do it. We did not go well that round. Uh, but yeah. There's there's so much to keep in mind in, in the Salmon Run. And the ones that, um, the, the ones with the, the flying ones, it, you could try and get them close to the base, but the problem with them is that they spawn more regular chums, so you have to really take them out so they don't spawn more hordes. And if you can get them to drop onto other things, that's also really good, so... Also, love the sky in this. The way it's all... Doomsday-like, I guess. I don't know what a, a better description for it. It's so cool that they're using multiplayer levels like this. It's something that I really appreciate. Is using something for something else. <laughs> if, you, if you couldn't tell by everything that I do. Basically. Not everything, but you know what I mean. I appreciate using things as other things quite a lot. Oh boy. This is fine. We have stuff spawning in two spots by the looks of it. We need to cover that ground quickly. Thank you, teammate. If I had Brella, I would be able to do that pretty quickly. Also, this weapon, I'm not good with these kinds of weapons. We have to hold down the charge and cover ground. Basically, I need to get the teammate up quickly, please. You can shoot little spots, but it's really... It really depends on how good you are with the weapon to how well that works out for you. Also, there's so much stuff not working out for us right now. It's almost probably worth using a special. There we go. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh boy. It's fine. What happened to the music? It's fine. I don't know what I... I don't know if that was just the playback right now if that was the recording. It might be the recording, and I don't know why that would even happen. It's fine. Oh boy, please. Everything's fine. We can shoot some of these back. We need to take out some of these bosses. Nope, I just wasted that special. Uh, I think we're not gonna make it. I, I don't think we're gonna make it past this round. And if we do, we're probably not gonna make it past the next round. Oh, still alive, maybe. We have to take out some of these enemies, though. Maybe? Just maybe we have to revive though to get these back in time. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. Maybe. Oh my gosh, we did it. We're gonna live. We're gonna live. Wow. I waste. I wasted a special in that round though, and we have. I have no specials left. So. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna go well for us this next round. Although maybe the other people will save their specials. Probably. And I saw one of them was flying. So. With a jetpack thing. We're also not coming in the middle right now, which is not great, but it's fine. I have a charger. I don't think this is going to go well. I'm going to try and get that right away. Did they survive? Nope, they did not. Sometimes it's really hard to avoid those because they really pull you in from the, just the, the tiniest edge. Even if you're not in the circle, you can sometimes get pulled in, so... Or knocked back by another enemy into it, because knockback in Splatoon is crazy. It's, it's one of the worst things to ever happen, is any knockback. If you hadn't seen my 
playthrough of the story at all. Or any of the stories, really, because the, the knockback has always been a bit of an issue with me. It's just not good. Also, hello, pro should revive you before bad things happen. Speaking of bad things, speaking of bad things, speaking of bad things, we're still alive. Somebody else is down. I'm down as well now. Got spotted by the fly fish. I've played this a fair bit, but I still don't remember any of the names. I need to pay more attention. I just don't pay attention sometimes, which is not great. Oh boy, we're dead, 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 so dead. I don't know why I tried to do that. It was... I, I, I mean, it could have worked, but it really didn't, so... Also, the music's out of sync, I just noticed. I'm not sure if that's the playback or if that's the recording. It might be the recording. I've had a... I, I changed one of the options I normally had set a while ago, and I hadn't fixed it, so... There's probably been quite a few videos that have been out of sync slightly, but it's fine. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty out of sync, and I think that's the recording. So I'm gonna have to try and fix that if I remember. I hope I remember. Otherwise, everything is gonna sound very out of sync. More out of sync than normal. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty sure the weapons are all, pr like, pretty random, but I got a few of them fairly often, so... I don't know what the the chance of getting each weapon is. It's I'm pretty sure, though, it's all 100% random, so... Any weapon is possible. But some of them are pretty unlikely as well, so... I think that's just how it is. Is it's any any of them are possible, but most of them are unlikely. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm getting pushed back a little bit, but it's okay. Need to take out some of these regular charms. I don't know if the big ones are called something different. But it's fine. The small ones really annoy me though, because they just they're so small and they they're so far. They're so fast. It's hard to keep up with them, and, and keep up with them. I mean, back away from them because they chase after you. But it's fine. We are going to use a special here to make sure we survive a little bit because there's a lot of bosses right now. I'm not sure if we're going to make it through. We might. But we need to really take them out now, so and start collecting eggs as well. Nope, somebody's down. I don't. I don't. I don't have high hopes when somebody's down like that. Just randomly. There's a lot of golden eggs on the ground currently. So if we can work together, we might be able to pull this off. There's only like two bosses that I can see currently. It's pretty good. Bunch of golden eggs. Oh, somebody's down still. We got enough. We just need to survive. Might be worth pulling back just to survive. If we can get... Any more golden eggs though, that'd be great. So we need to try and get teammates into better positions. Nope, that's it. 28 though, that's pretty good. I heard somebody was depositing them. I don't know how, where they were getting them from, but they, they were doing it, so. Okay, low tide. It's probably worth getting close to the middle for this because that's where the basket is. But you still want to use the upper ground for safety, basically. It's a lot of uh, going everywhere and stuff. You need to do. That didn't work. We almost got it though. Some weapons are really good at taking that out. But regular shots, like, oh my goodness, two of them just blew up there. That's not great. That's fine though. Using a special to survive. That's my last special though. You do get your special back for the boss though, if we can get that far. So maybe. Maybe we can. And something I want to mention about the boss is that it actually is still around in regular Salmon Run now. You have a, like, 50% 50, 50 chance of getting a different boss now, basically. To the one that's been around since the beginning, so... But we haven't seen it yet in this video. <laughs> On my playthrough, at least. So I'll... Once we show that, I'll actually go into more detail about how I think about it, probably. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, we're doing alright, but we have a lot of bosses spawning in around us. We're getting shot down by missiles, so that's not great. Oh boy. Everyone is down. Not really, though. It just looks, it just feels like everyone's down right now. Okay, there's a thing. There's so many things. I can't get up the tower while I'm getting missiled, so... The ground around that tower just always gets covered. Like crazy. 
Oh, I'm the last person left. That's not gonna work very well for me. Just focus on surviving, please, me. We need one more golden egg. One more golden egg. Nope, that's a wrap. Well, that's a shame. Must have used our specials too fast. I'm surprised by how short each run actually is. I mean, it's not extremely short, but doing summon run takes a lot of time to get all the rewards and stuff. Hey, I have a bamboozler. 14 Mark II, I think. I didn't see the mark, but I'm pretty sure it was Mark II. I don't think I'm actually great with bamboozler as I was in story modes of any kind, so... Let's see how this goes. It might be alright. Of course, our weapons also change every round, so every wave. I'll try and take that out. Good job. I need to paint some of these walls so we can actually get up and around. The thing about the, this bamboozler is, is it doesn't really do enough damage, I think, based on what I'm watching right now. I mean, it's, it's good for going doing quick shots, but it also it's not doing enough damage, so... It's, it has its ups and downs, definitely. I need to stir up ink. It's good enough, cool. I'm gonna try and get around to try and get stuff going. Nope, dead. Smattered by, splattered by small fry, of course. I'm gonna try and grab that before it grabs it. Good. There's, there's so much stuff happening right now. We need to take out the big guy that's shooting shockwaves at our base. Ah! It's another small fry. Those things are brutal. Uh-oh, one play left. We're not gonna survive this. That's it. That's it. This game over. We, we're not getting hit and revived. We're just trying to focus on reviving right now. There's no way. We're just spreading it around. Somehow still alive? No, we're definitely not gonna get enough golden eggs. Well, it was a good attempt. Anyway, that's it for now. So I'll see you in the next part for more Salmon Run.